Thanks for watching the WHME TV 46 High School Game of the Week. Brought to you by... Time now for the R. Yoder Construction Post Game Show on our 46th Game of the Week. Fans starting to file out of the Panther pit after a 55-40 Elkhart Memorial win over Northwood tonight. Chuck Freeby and Bob Nagel high above the fray. The speed and quickness of the Memorial Crimson Chargers really showed up here tonight. It did. You know, they're down two at halftime, and they made some adjustments. They went inside to the big man, got a couple of buckets out of him. Uh, the guys who struggled in the first half stayed with it and came through in the fourth quarter. But uh, Northwood, 23 turnovers, crucial in this game. But a lot of those turnovers caused by Memorial. And the guy that kept the Chargers in it in the first half, then Bohunt made a really good point. Bracton Miller pulling the best defender for Northwood away from the basket. That meant the Charger inside game opened up. It's one of the reasons we made Bracton Miller with 16 points. Our IUSB fulfilling the promise player of the game. Standing by with our player of the game, Bracton Miller, game high, 16 points tonight. First off, congratulations on this victory. Thank you. You guys come into this game, you had a tough defeat against Marion. What was the difference and what did you guys learn from that game coming forward? Uh, I just think that coming forward, well, we didn't have one of our starters, and so we didn't really have like much um, like legs underneath us. But uh, after losing by that much, we kind of like formed together. You guys come in, and Northwood really pushing the pace in that first half and really just subbing in guys, subbing in guys. You guys never really phased, and you guys just kept going at it. Yeah, I mean, in practice, we just go up and down a lot, and we do it every game, so our legs are kind of used to it. The conference was already decided, you know, that coming into this place, into this game. You guys get second place, but I know that doesn't mean a whole lot to you guys. Moving forward to sectional, what are the things you guys need to work on? Uh, I think we just need to keep, like, coming together as a team keep moving the ball, making the extra pass, I think we'll be fine. Hey, good luck and congratulations. Thank you. Back to you guys. So many times in the second half, Bob, Elkhart Memorial was able to use defense to create offense, and that also happened in our electrical workers play of the game here from local 153 with Skinny Rogers doing the damage. Well, Skinny again was struggling in the first half, but gets down the floor, gets a transition basket, and that's something that Northwood did really well in the first half, getting transition baskets, but Memorial picked it up in the second half. I thought their legs were maybe a little bit better, and then a little bit of foul trouble for uh, Northwood. When they looked up, they went from being down five to being down 10, and all of a sudden, the game gets away from you. Two-point game at halftime winds up being a big win for Memorial. Panthers have no time to feel sorry for themselves. St. Joe comes to town on Saturday afternoon. Memorial will face that same St. Joe team on Tuesday night. And just as coaches' wives have to make sacrifices, so too do broadcasters' wives and mothers. So happy Valentine's Day to Diane Freeby, Jean Freeby, Mary Carol Nagel, and Pam Hunt. We thank you for all you've done to make us better guys as well. Our crew also with lots of moms and wives that give up their time, including Dean Corsmo, Paula Corsmo at home celebrating the fact that she's not with him tonight. That's another story. <laughs> the rest of our 46 crew also putting in some great time tonight. Reminder that we've got college basketball on the radio all weekend long. Purdue and Ohio State Saturday at noon. IU and Michigan Sunday at 1. The Notre Dame women against Louisville Sunday at 3. And then next Friday night, more high school basketball. The Adams Eagles and the Riley Wildcats in the big NIC clash on the south side. You'll see it live on YouTube and Facebook at 745 and on TV 46 Friday night at 11. Now for my broadcast partners, the fellow Hall of Famers, Bob Nagel and Bo Hunt, it's Chuck Freeby. Once again, the final, Elkhart Memorial 55, Northwood 40. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody from Napanee.